Okay, I'll start with the handle because it's the most interesting piece. And I'll show you a few tricks, of course. So here, what I'm going to do first is go into solo mode. Activate symmetry. Set a pivot so it's centered. And I'm going to try to put an edge loop in here. Um, so control and shift, then hold alt. That will hide everything but the center ones where I can group these. So I can go in here and group them. Now I should be able just to click on those. And in this case, I'm going to throw an edge loop in there. And why is that important? Well, now when I divide it up, you're going to find it, it acts a little bit different. Let's see. It starts to smooth a little bit. And now I'm going to kind of hit that home a little bit with the whole smooth because it really didn't smooth as much as I wanted it to. But now, when I make silly adjustments to it, and we're talking, let's say we add, right now it's only at 2,000 polys. So I'm going to put a limit of 8 on there. So for every part, I'm going to put a limit of 8. And that's going to come into play later. So here I got the clip curve brush. Remember I had that symmetry on. Control and shift. Click and drag. And try to get that to the very center of that extrude. Okay. And then we're going to polish this a little bit. And you might not see a whole lot of polishing going on, but let's uh, lower it down and then polish it. Uh, nice, right? Good topology. And was that important? Well, not really, but it it is important to me. So... And I try to make it important to you, too, that, you know, all the pieces kind of have good topology. All right. So the advantage of that, of course, is sculpting. Uh, so in this case, instead of having this symmetry on, I'm going to reverse the symmetry thinking. Instead, here, this is wide on the shaft, right? So we're going to go for radial symmetry instead of uh, linear symmetry. So this, Y, R, with a radial count will allow me to do this okay okay now what I'm gonna do here is something goofy I'm going to actually inflate this a little bit And I'm pretty sure I got to inflate it in Z. I'm going to try that theory. Yep. W what my thing is, is I want it round at first, and then I can always go and deflate it in Z. This, this way I can sculpt on it a little bit easier. So what this big giant ring of doom is, is the ability to go like this. Let's take it and make this a little bit higher not much you don't have to go very high and I'm just gonna go in here and just add a ring and space them out pretty even Okay, just like that. 
And then I'm going to have some fun and take this new brush. And clip them down. Now, let's take radial symmetry off and just go with this because you can see what what happened there was weird. <laughs> so, so let's get out of that and go like this. There we go. So now what that did is flatten it out, and I got these little cool flat spots now. And for the center of each flat spot, what I want to do now is up this and just put a little tiny standard dot here. And this is These little details are going to add up to be something good. So let's just have Z on. And I'm going to back that up just a little bit and look for an alpha. And maybe drag rect with a lot of intensity. Not so much. That would hurt to hold. So I'm just getting the right thing, sorry. It's just I'm very picky very picky about this. So there we go. So I'm just adding a dot in every once in a while. And there's other things that you can add in here too, like maybe you know there's a weird alpha around here. Let's see what it is right here. Maybe this would be a nice little ornament as a button that's holding all these ribbons in place. So I'm just going to go in here and place one of these for each one of these bald spots. That one does not want to produce a good one. I think it's because it's at a slight angle. So we're going to put something else there. Or I can uh, switch this out to dots and then produce one. There we go. Good enough. Okay, so at a distance, this is what it looks like. You know, just because that little dot's there, it adds so much more to it. And certainly, you should maybe put a dot on every one of these other ones. And that's creating contrast in your models. And trust me, that, that carries over to your normal map, everything else too. So I'm going to take the time and just do a little bit more on this and put those in there and meet you back in the next video.